first under the requirements section. Uh, and again, these are the um, the thicket of laws, executive orders, and other regulations uh, governing requirements for declassification. Um, uh, the first one I suggest amending the law uh, on on the FRUS process, uh, which right now requires e each uh, 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 department and agency to uh, review documents identified by the State Department within 120 days, a requirement that is uh, too often honored in the breach. Uh, but I, I'm trying to be provocative here and shift the onus a little bit by saying that documents identified by the State Department for FRUS will automatically become declassified after three years um, uh, if they had not been al already reviewed. Um, that could obviously cause some problems, but it's a way to get everyone's attention and and hopefully prompt some hopefully prompt some action and there would be a provision in there for an affirmative reclassification um uh second um cia for a while uh as, as uh, bob jervis is very familiar uh, from chairing the historical review panel for many years cia for a while had a 25-year uh, review program where all documents that became 25 years old would at least be reviewed for declassification again the operative word here is review it's not saying that they automatically become declassified that would be quite problematic but at least that they should be reviewed uh but cia uh, seems to have let that lapse and so um again uh, putting a requirement in for cia and DOD to at least do reviews of documents after, after 20, 25 years. Um, now, the third one I'm uh, borrowing uh, happily from um, Bill Burr's uh, really good foreign affairs article from several months ago on the declassification uh, backlog. Uh, and this is, uh, he pointed out that um, ICECAP, the Interagency Security Classification of Appeals Panel, this is kind of the, the, the court of last resort, if you will, uh, for FOIA and MDR processes, getting documents uh, declassified. It actually works fairly well, but the problem, as Bill pointed out, is that once ICECAP renders a decision on a particular document, it only applies to that document. Uh, and um, the, the, the standard used for declassification doesn't become a, a, a precedent, which could really help with clearing up the backlog.